Hello everybody and welcome back to Theme Park Coasting and today we're heading off to Tivoli Gardens. Nevertheless, before we do begin with the video, I do want to apologise at the start because during the editing process I did realise that I lost up to 10 minutes of footage and therefore the vlog does start in a little bit of a weird spot. However, with it being such a great vlog with so many great memories, I still wanted to share it with you guys and therefore I did this quick clip right now to tell you why it starts me finishing lunch. Nevertheless, with all that said, I hope you enjoy the video, which is coming right your way now. It is Tom Food Review time, and for our food that we just had, had a hot dog. It was really, really nice. Like, for starters, the price of the food, okay, we're in a Copenhagen, and Denmark, which is the third most expensive country in the world, the food only cost us five quid, which was a bit shocking to be honest. We expected it to be a lot more. So, but how much is outside of a theme park? I don't know, but if it's actually here, I don't know. I, I don't think it was that bad. And in terms of the food itself, of course it was in Gordon, uh, Gordon Ramsay's restaurant, but it was a nice hot dog, really delicious. You can also order it as a meal if you want to. There was burgers, there was so much. Even like down here, you get churros, literally. There are so many catering options at the park for you to enjoy, so... In my opinion, if you are coming here, even though you can leave and sometimes we recommend leaving the park because of the prices of food, with all these different options of catering you can get, I think to be honest it's just easier to stay in and even if it does come with like one or two pounds more, it's nice to have an authentic experience like we were sitting upstairs and down there a little bit, I was in the Chinese like upstairs bit and that was really cool for us to watch the roller coasters and eat the food, so yeah. as far as food goes here, Oh, once again, very impressed by Timothy Gardens. But also, one more thing, quickly, is that at Lego and Windsor, we used to have a ride. Uh, I can't remember what it was called. It was walking around space, anyway. And it went quite a long time ago because when they built the Hunter Swan Spire, see, uh, yeah, they decided to remove it. However, this is not the exact same ride, but the same ride type. And there, there it you is. go. Oh, we have to do that later. I missed that. We have to do that later. Yeah. It's one of those rides where you might as well look at it and go, no, what the hell is that? But for me and Adam, as children, we used to love going on those rides. And just every time we do, every time we do a top ten or see my theme park do a vlog, we would go, oh my god, we have to do them because it's like our childhood ride. And it's not. I don't think there's actually any there based in the UK anymore. So if we do see that right now, we're going to do it later on. But first up. I think we're going to do a different ride, Adam, aren't we? Yeah, we're going to be doing the camel trail. Camel trail. One for you. Hi. I'm actually really supportive yeah, because this is actually like, it's quite a small coaster, but they did, I think they redid it a couple of years back now. And you know, it looks pretty smooth and also so apparently it's got a bit of air time, so I'm looking forward to it. Nevertheless, before we do do that, I do have to say, and Dad's going to have more food options just down here, some wraps. But I just just found what I want for tea, I tell you. Uh, <laughs> I just found it. Uh, and a quick heads up, as a Tom tip number one on our trip, my name is Tom and these are my tips. So tip number one, is when you go to a park like this, do the parks that you want to do the most, do the rides you want to do the most first. Because rides do break down, it's con here to break down, seen, as you've seen, yeah. and if you get to those rides first, yeah. you have more chance of getting on them if they are open than not. Yeah, so. so this is it, if you don't know, so we arrived here at 2 o'clock, and the park is actually open at 11 o'clock, so if you do arrive here on open time, you're probably always guaranteed to get on it. However, that's why I was shot even though we did it first. Yeah, no, so but on a genuine note, one good thing about every single ride you've been able to pay for individually is that we are more likely to open an attraction which you may have to pay for because that demon up there is ten pounds a ride which one ride now is a bit steep for ten pounds like I think it's I think it's a lot yeah 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 so it's ten pounds a ride however because you pay that but also the part where to get that one open because it's one of the bigger tracks because where somewhere like you pay to get in wouldn't be so fast because you already paid to get in so that's one good thing about a pay park but yeah that's pretty good yeah <laughs> All coasters are now complete and we have pretty much done all of the main attractions that I want to do at the park. Now of course there are some flat rides 
and the re-ride to ideology today but my aim was today maybe i want to there that's cool that unique one down there but my aim was today was to get done all the coasters and all the unique attractions out of half which i haven't yet done as such rides there's a short tail there we we're gonna do when we realize it has got a bit of a queue and we're moving all around the world despite we have to get a different view of course every time it's the same sort of ride and there's some of the flat rides here as well you've got to choose wise i think i'm going to be perfectly on to my next tip a tom tip number two in fact is that actually do the rides that are unique at parks because there are a lot here and of course many fun fairs around there's a lot of rides where they're just common and like you can do them absolutely anywhere now of course stuff like this is not and some other rides that we've done already like Damien and stuff are not unique i mean not common but at the same time we've got some that are just like so unique i mean so Listen, so common, but actually, it's just not worth doing as you can do anywhere. And when you make a trip, like I don't know if it's not too long, but like an hour and a half plane ride out, out here, and then you also have to drive up six hours or whatever to get to the park itself, it's not worth going on the more, more worth, it's more worth going on the unique rides. I feel a tongue twister there, more worth going on more of a unique rides to make the most of your day. That is really cool, though. That is really cool. We're talking about unique rides. We are now going to go on to a fun house, and we did our first fun house, in fact, last time, uh, yesterday, we went to a park, and now we're going to do our second fun house, two in a row. How good is that? Just down here, again, as I said earlier, you don't even realize it exists until you start walking over paths. We're going to head down here and then experience our second fun house right away. <laughs> Kids, turn away now. Starting the sun's a little bit creepy. Fun house, oh, nightmare house. Let's go in here. God, what the hell is this? Oh, jeez. Let's go. Again, unique to the extreme. Let's go. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, okay. Wow, oh, 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 this is. Oh, my God, it's really weird, your legs. That's how I do it, you see? Right. Oh. oh god. Oh. Oh. And it only continues with some more things in the way. Oh. Hey. Oh. And oh, whoa, whoa, what's that? Oh. God, it's, God, it's just, it's just constantly moving. Oh, 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 it's like just non stop. Oh, God. Oh, That was crazy, but also so much fun. Definitely better than the madhouse did yesterday. And some of these slides, activities, it's basically like a grown up fairy, really. Of course, kids love it as well. But for me, I really, really did enjoy that. However, we are now at a weird point in our day because actually the park has got 10 times quieter. Like, we don't know if it's because everyone's queuing up for that one over there or whether it's just because the cruise liners who often do our trips. Like, I remember my grandparents' cruise had a, you know, like a trip to this place. We know the cruise have gone, but it's literally gone dead, like yeah, it's gone really out of nowhere. Empty. I mean, I reckon it will start picking up like once you get uh, sunset, and of course, once you get to the night time of the park, because that's meant to be amazing. So, 
Okay, Possibly. Pick up, but you never know, it could just die off completely. Yeah, and until it died off, we're actually going to leave the park there for a sec, sign into our hotel room. But we'll do be back for loads more later on. So stay tuned, literally what we'll do, it will cut the camera off this clip. We'll go to a hotel room and like you never knew it, we'll be back again for the night time. I'm just warning you in advance, because it will be a little bit darker than it is right now. Uh, we've had such a great day so far. It is, well possibly, yeah, we don't know how long we'll be, maybe like 10 minutes or something, but... That's such a great day so far, it's been so much fun yeah, and... Nice. I mean, you know, this is a nice park. And I do think it is like, I, I think it's got a fair race to put it that way. Because it's racing very highly and, you know, it should be because it's a great park. However, I feel like some places like Ferrop Summerland should like really be rated. Yeah. It is high as this place, to be honest, because Ferrop Summerland... I think it's your highest place, place, personally. Yeah. I, think, I do prefer it personally. This place, but... this place is definitely an experience and a half. Like, the theming. The theming is amazing. The, the flowers, food. the plants, the food, the rides. Yeah. It is fantastic. However, it is very, very small. And we're having... It's expensive part. And we're, and we're, oh, yeah, it is very expensive. Let's get into it. Most parts, the food's a little bit cheaper. I don't yeah, mind that so much actually, <laughs> but we would be something expensive to get into, and also if you're in the middle of the city as well, stuff like that. I think it really is a one time place to go, a tick off a box, and then you can I mean, maybe, maybe come like a five or ten years or something. But yeah, I mean, I maybe when the other uh, like a new roller coaster, yeah, that's all time. I'd feel like I would want to come back, but at the moment, I feel yeah. like. All the ride offering that is here, we always have anything we want to do and everything. I mean, next time we do return to it, of course, if we return to. I mean, you never know. Of course, if we return back to here, we're going to do it again. Yeah, but and I, I mean, this, I reckon, I don't know, but like, we may return like quite soon because if you go in December or something, uh, yeah, you can actually visit this place, which is uh, quite the only nice feature. Yeah. In, in uh, pretty much the one of the only thing we're in in the whole like of Europe, to be honest, in December. So it'd be nice part to visit in December. So. The lights will probably be amazing then as well. So. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, there's lots of things as well we haven't done last year. When we go come over to parks, there are things that we don't do as much. So I thought we does like shows, carrots, meet and greets. There's like ballet, which I think we are trying to put over there. As well as hundreds and hundreds of more rides. Yeah. But as people who literally want their own trip alone, we're going to four theme parks. It's all and five. There's a lot of the same thing. There's a, it, it gets competitive over one, and we kind of make a decision to do more unique rides first and then I mean, possibly if you have time well. yeah it's, like i mean i'd rather have like two rides on the demon than have a ride on but, like a normal so far so. so far of course we haven't seen it at night yet i think this is the perfect park to do for a day or possibly half yeah. half if you've done loads of things before like if you've never done a theme park before wow you would be blown away by this but then it's going to be the norm because it's not a normal theme park yeah. it's good it's better it's better part and it's worse part of your normal theme park something they have to build both yeah and We're, as well i'm um, so to so point out i mean obviously it's to change that in the day but i feel like uh, quite a lot of their star attractions have been down like yeah. running demon on one train i mean okay that's fine like I mean, that's a fault but, that's but it's not even one train it's like um but then you go to stuff like the star flyer Aquilia, yeah, um, stuff like that. Which I'll uh, stand up right. I mean, for me personally, I was only bothered about two attractions here, which I've now done the roller coaster and the demon. However, there were some shots, there were. Made there were some shots. So if you are going and you're only going for a short amount of time, do uh, if you are going to Joshua Hunt, it's fine for half a day, it's fine for even in the evening for your start of a day, but don't make a visit down here because it is worthwhile. But we'll see you now as it gets a bit later on over here at Tivoli Gardens. Good evening guys, or should I say still daylight guys, because we went into a hotel, checked ourselves in, and now we are back for even more over at Tivoli Gardens. And I was actually, we actually had a very funny encounter with a guy at Funk, because basically when you leave, you gotta go up there and get a stamp, okay? So you get a stamp, and then we went back, okay? And, and the stamp flew like that. Yeah, so we went back, the guy went, what's that? And obviously, <laughs> when they speak a different language, it's like, obviously it's not so like, you kind of, and you take it really seriously. Yeah, you take it really seriously. Right. Like, okay. And then like, he came and was like, oh, day. And, he was, and eventually after like two minutes, basically. Literally two minutes. <laughs> he was like, oh, I'm joking. And that's just a nice thing you can I said, it's just fun and the real yeah. enjoyment. I like, mean, honestly, like, the Danish people are so nice. Out there. Yeah, I mean, like, I mean, you cannot I, be them. Like, I mean, we haven't met one bad person out here. No. Like, I mean, you very rarely meet in any country, but you do sometimes it's just natural you do meet people that are quite rude sometimes and yeah here, i'm not one yeah I mean, you can't doubt as much as you can't doubt that food's expensive you can't doubt it's, it's worth it it's <laughs> so nice. yeah it's a lovely country and even though we're back going now for it's even more and it is definitely quiet so we can definitely tell the crew's on here i know is it gonna be is it gonna be depends if we're going two trains or not i really i really hope they actually pick up another train on there because if they do 
uh, it can be a walk which would be lovely to get re rides on. It. It's definitely a nicer atmosphere when it's quieter. I, I, didn't, I don't know about you, but I, I think when I come back in here, Kate, like when we came earlier, it felt very long, and obviously the rides are smaller here, not as big as some road parks. So when you have like an hour wait time for it, it feels takes like forever. But oh, we're going to do many, we haven't got full a trains on. Have they? Demon, a full trains uh, dispatching on a demon. Yeah. So maybe they've taken some of the de test dummies off because it's full yeah. a full train now, it's pretty cool. No, that's pretty cool. But like I said, yeah, back here, Tom tip number three, and again, it's going to be for one day, so it could be different every time you go, but for our opinion, go over today, arrive early in the morning and go back later at night, because cruise liners, yeah, there are loads. I mean, as I said earlier, there's loads that come around here, and you don't want to be in the same time as them, obviously, because this is now what it's like, compared to what it's like earlier. It's crazy, and, I mean, and, and, as well, and the best times at night, too, apparently. Yeah, it literally is. Um, oh, apparently it is. And I think like, another thing you can do is if you only have one day in Copenhagen, because I know a lot of people will have one day, and you don't really care about seeing the size, what I would, or what you do, I mean, I'd see the size in the morning, really early morning, get here in Tivoli, uh, spend about a couple of hours in Tivoli, drive out to Baku, because about half an hour drive, or even take the train, and then yeah. come back for the evening here, because both these parts are open late, or you can just stay at one, then come over there, because both these parts are open really late, which is nice. Um, I mean, we were going to do that originally if we only had three days, but then, yeah, we had another day, so we were so like, okay, we're we'll spread it out. Yeah, so a bit more, enjoy the atmosphere, a bit more, soak all in. But that's no. what we found out. Yeah, yeah no, 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 no. I said earlier, you do not live a long time. Yeah. There's a few obviously rides that are like must-dos, and you have some that aren't so much. Yeah. But, but Damon, you know, no matter what you do, you should have a nice time over here. Like I said, this, yeah, this really part. has something for everyone. Like, I mean, more than so ever. Like I said, it, it, it has some for everyone that might last half a day, but it has got some for everyone. Like, there's so many different things around here, like from a big roller coaster to a little carousel to a plant to a coffee shop down there to like everything. It really has got some for everything. And I think, don't know you, Adam, we've got to get back onto that one over there. I do think we need to get back onto Demonium. Demonium, yes. Let's go. Demonium time. But just before that, we can't resist the walk on key for these. I promise you guys we're going to do it, and we are going to do it right now. The Temple Towers, and this favourite, we've got on here. You make sure I don't go with Mum, I don't have to try and pull her up here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but honestly, I'm so sorry to be I haven't been here since literally when there's a Legoland, so that must have been oh, since I mean, no, 20. We, we, we I think it was 2016, because the year before we started the channel, it closed. Yeah, yeah. So 2016, it closed. So it's been a long time since we did this ride so it's gonna be nice not as tall though there's one there's one i think at legoland bend isn't there so yeah, there's one at legoland bend and i maybe want it back in i don't know so i have to say you know when you've gone to ride to put your bag to the side look where you put your glasses and your phone okay <laughs> <laughs> i'll put my glasses in the bag but hey -ho. let's not go next ride up we are gonna on. climb 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 up and get some great views across there but also a really fun time on this temple challenge, you know, it's cool, it's got my name. So we've just gone off into the sky on our love ride and that was good fun. It was more of an exercise than I do remember. Definitely more of an exercise. My oh, hands and arms are glitchy, like moving away, like they got stains and stuff. But that was really good fun. Like, there was only one of us per car because we had the whole thing. So we decided to do one each. And that could have been the reason why it was harder to pull up. But apart from that, the whole dropping and rising and pulling it up, it's such a fun thing to do, especially when you're younger. I remember when we were younger, we used to do it all the time. And it's still, to this very day, really fun to get some great views as well of the coaster. Like, that is one of the best things we had it when it was going around. And those views were fan absolutely fantastic. And looking at it now, we have to go on it next. So there's no more distractions on the way now, guys. We're going to go straight there, straight on to it, on the coaster. But you guys did that one as well, did you enjoy it? Yeah, yeah like old times sake. Um, did you go off the ground, Mum? Huh? Big off the ground? Yeah, we went. <laughs> Funny thing here, because you normally pay for the rides, they give you mega long goes on yeah. stuff. Yeah. Except yeah, for that one, which they charge tenner for. That was a short go. That's right, short <laughs> and the first still has a queue, of course, and that's where we're going right away. We're going to wait in it, we're going to survive a queue. We've got to do it one more time at least today, and then we're going to grid every day. So let's go. Yeah. Next one of the day, I'm going to get my name now. Here we're going on to the A1 then. Yeah, still can't get it.
pandemonium. What can I say except that is amazing. Second time round by some miracle we got the front row. I mean like literally uh, started off the second row of a train and then they just went, oh you should run in here and we ran over and we And like, then like the person what? said to us, I mean from what I translated, row two and I think she said two people but uh, I originally thought she said uh, row two so I was like oh, that's all right yeah. and then there's people calling us at the front and we're like oh my god and we've never done the front of being a flawless before no, we've done three so we've never done the front of being a flawless before so, we've never done the front of being a so it's a very very different experience for you guys they've only done like a and m uh, dive coaster it's very very different from that as you literally I mean it's very similar to that as you feel as if you are literally going fully you feel as if you're actually along with the track because you have no fun underneath you and that is just an experience that you won't forget, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's amazing. Honestly, like, front row is definitely better than back on that. I mean, we were saying, like, stuff like Southern, like, yesterday, uh, front of Summerland, um, that was actually better on the back. However, yeah, uh, Demona is definitely better on the front. Yeah, well, no further ado, we're really just on the next ride. We just went down here, see what this is, and... Uh, absolutely smoke. I mean, even me, like, I'm on any pair of beats on this, so... So, let's find out what this is. Okay, already I'm liking it. It's indoors, and you guys see a cut in the man, look. You got a stairs. And it, it's like a storyline thing, it looks quite cool. Yeah, I mean, it's cool, but it's all in Danish, so we don't know what anything they say, which is quite funny. But... <laughs> no, this is a four, okay. This is, this is definitely very unique. Oh, wait, oh, anyway. oh, it's in English. Oh, we have a boat. Hey, we have a boat. And yeah, is this a coaster correct? It's on the coaster track. I don't know, it's not counted, so I don't know. I mean, I'm not asking you to be in the it, is, it looks very, very unique. And I see one down there. Hello. Yeah, this reminds me of another one that we have in the UK, awesome. but I'll tell you about afterwards. No Let's go on it, Snow Down. And join the quacking ride. No, and turkeys. No. Not fast to be, but it could be. <laughs> This reminds me a little bit of a story I know about. A little bit. <laughs> Where did this idea come from? Oh god, they're a little bit rude. Sorry, kids. <laughs> Sorry, god. I might not have a how. Soldier loved a ballerina. While the others always played, he only looked at her. Chickens bullied and bit him and caught him ugly until he flew away. All through the autumn and winter, he was lonely and sad. Then he met some beautiful swarms and discovered that he too was a swarm. A friendly crow gave advice. A swift reindeer carried her northward as she searched for the Snow Queen's castle. It is so big! Still, the story has a happy ending. Then he left the princess and went home. How do you know when a young lady is a princess? Why? Plays a pink from the 20 mattresses and 20 feather beds. If the lady says the bed was low, she is a true princess. Times dead crows and billy goats will do the trick. Just ask Jack to die. Thank you for joining me. There you go. That was. I always enjoy seeing that, wasn't it, real Sally? 19 stories completed on that ride. Uh, Hans Christ, whatever his name is. Hans Christa Anderson, very nice. And we didn't know who it was. <laughs> no, we were just listening to the song and just going around and looking at most disturbing images. The chap that made the Frozen stories, that's why they're called Hans Christoph, Anna and Sven, because Hans Christian Anderson. Boom. Little tip, little bit of Steve's knowledge, you know? Yeah, Steve's knowledge throughout, okay? But Steve's secret snippet. <laughs> There you go. Steve Sneaker. I was like, I just didn't know what to think about. <laughs> Adam. However, now, I mean, to us, that was all right. However, now, we're heading over to one of the most insane flat rides to have ever been created. And this is well known for being possibly the most intense flat ride. And hence because, why I wanted it. <laughs> yeah, because there used to actually be one here. Um, and yeah, that, just got, that got taken away a couple of years back now. However, yeah, currently Tic Tac, which is going on now, um, it's currently probably the most intense flat so, ride. So, I'll show some more fire clips if we can, and we'll get onto it. Look forward to riding this. It does look pretty thrilling, and I don't think mum's gonna do it.
Oh, oh, that was intense. That was genuinely intense. I'm a big thank you to Dad for filming the best footage you can get from that. But that, yeah. It was as bad as I said it was good. But it was intense. There was a time yeah. when we were the whole time upside down. It was times crazy. that was crazy, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it was good fun though. And I mean, this, uh, before we both got on, they said to us, oh yeah, guys, can you put words in your pockets? Of course, we're <laughs> from the UK, like, they would never say anything yeah. like that. And, like, I was still thinking this, I would have been okay, but yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Anyway. I mean, it was crazy though, because like, they said to us, and we're like, okay, actually, this may be serious now. Um, because we're like, the days were always like, really honest and everything. So we're like, okay, yeah, we'll maybe do that. So we, like, I literally like, took my coat off to everything down my pockets. It wasn't even that bad. Nah, I mean, so, okay, again, we do something good, right? so we're used to like intense yeah. right? So it's not like it's just like ah, I don't want to go ahead. No one's saying that. That looks very scary. I that. <laughs> that looks I mean, worse. Like, the guy who doesn't like flat rides, like, I'm not the biggest fan of flat rides. Yeah. I do. I do any coaster but like, I didn't think it was too bad. Like it wasn't no. all that bad. No. It was fine. So. Yeah. So yeah, we're just gonna get on this thing. But yeah, then after that we went on to the spring ride, just to cool down. We didn't even have time to film the tree, yeah. but that was good we, fun as well. But you know, that was good. I mean, it yeah. was a chair spring. Yeah. And it's not so nice too sweet, uh, but beautiful. However now is the time we're waiting for. This is when we get into our second ride on the ride. I'm still regretting the name. I just... I wish... Wish Banana. Wish Banana. I don't know. I don't know. It's not a roller coaster. In English, it's roller coaster. So, really, I keep like, forgetting. It it's not a very obvious entrance. <laughs> Obviously, it's like an old turntable, but it's Mum's first time to on it. Because it's so smooth, we said, you Mum, you've got to do it. It's the third oldest roller coaster in the world, and definitely one of my favourite wooden coasters. Great themed, really good fun. And you can really see people like Walt Disney as well got ideas for a Matterhorn from this, as well as such iconic like, chances in the future, as Big on the Mountain, as the whole mountain atmosphere on this ride, despite obviously not being as well themed as them, you can definitely tell from that the inspiration they must have got for such rides as Matterhorn. Nevertheless, right now, we're going to go on board. Let's hope we get a good ride, because they pushed it around the top. <laughs> yeah. See, it's crazy, this is. Love it, love the authenticity of it. Might be a second trailer taking off. They don't know, that's still cool, though. Who's going on with you? Yeah. I like the big dips. That ride never disappoints. And after taking another ride back there, that is fantastic. This second to front row. We're in the queue for front row, but this kid literally just jumped on the car as it was moving on front row from the back. So we couldn't get that one. But then we've got second to front row. Which we've got second to back row. Second to so. back row, so we've got the same sort of experience from both and nice. we'll take front row for that. I say front row for that. I would oh it's so hard. That air time, you know. Like, you get pushed I don't, know if, you, don't know if, I don't know if you actually go over the hill like your words come off or something, because it hasn't got know. words underneath, does it? No, so it probably doesn't have the words underneath, but it's funny, so I can't really get pushed out. <laughs> the air time thing. is proper air and time. And then the back and the back row, you get like dragged down the obviously. Um, I don't know what I prefer. I would probably say front because yeah. I mean I have, I usually give front on most coaches. And and but you can see as well, I know you're really, yeah, I know I haven't put a cute trick on the ride. I don't know if you oh, can no. actually or not, but I haven't. Yeah. But what I'm saying is, is that if you do go on it, you can easily see where Walt Disney got his inspiration from Matterhorn. I mean, like, that was the same as it was like, almost 100, 100 years ago, and they literally replicated it, okay, that's so smooth, so good. And of course, to this very day, you can see the influence that's gone through from back ride, especially. Um, um, you did it, how did you find it? I enjoyed it. It was a really, really good ride. Big, um, lots of airtime, Tom. Lots of airtime, very technical. Lots of airtime. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed it. It was good fun. Question was one with an injector or not? A floater. Or floater. There you go. I don't know. It's a hard one. Oh, I mean, one. too serious, I'd probably say. If I'm an injector. Bit of this, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'd say if I'm an injector, but it's pretty simple. It's still great anyway. Yeah. But yeah, that was amazing. Absolutely worth doing. And just to warn you guys as well in advance, if you are from any kind of not Scandinavian countries, they have a bit of a weird way of operating in the sense of. Well, as soon as you sit down, you're gone, so put your little as quickly, and you, you get off while the train is still moving because yeah. of the rain. So, I mean, so, right, so, yeah. so, and the safety here is not in the number one priority. I also do think in the UK, we are a little bit too excessive on I the safety. That, yeah. But there's times here where like, you're going around and then the guy's got his hands in the air, he uses the brakes, yeah, which like the controls guy, your life. Yeah, and he's <laughs> so, jumped in. Like, okay. There's nothing about where, like, if he fell out, because there's no wheels underneath, you literally will go off the edge of a track and probably die. So, in that sense, Major thing, doesn't it? 
it's probably worth if I'm having like, a seatbelt or having two on there just in case he yeah. faints or has a heart attack or something, I don't know. But at the same time, it was really good fun. Two of that unsafe though. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. We have short tower and it stands pretty tall, but we I think we're gonna do it, we still think we're gonna do it. It's got a shortest and queue now. What's pretty cool is it's the golden tower. The golden hour. The golden tower, the golden hour. Like, nice. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's gonna be some good views. I mean, we've timed it perfectly, so it's gonna take a ride. Let's go and do it, let's go. Oh, it's not really a shot tower, is it? Yeah, but it does be down. That's a drop tower, not a shot tower. Just made a drop on the plummet of the ride. I still don't know. I'm so sorry, guys, because they're not know the right names. <laughs> but that ride back there, that was really, really good fun. Like, they are common, don't you? Well, the view from up there is something that can't be beaten. I mean, like, the good thing is, well, like, that was the toy short time I've ever done. I mean, I know it's short time, but. You know, yeah, you slowed it up and then it dropped. Yeah. I mean, it's pretty good actually. But um, yeah, I definitely got that was great. Yeah, I do, I do, I do agree with you. And that, and that one up there, it got you up there, it dropped, whoa, and then it bounced, and that was where it got fun. But now, we are now moving on from one to the next. How's the tower? Could you go down? Good? Drop tower, good, yeah, good for yous. Um, as well, they're over a bit quick, aren't they, drop towers? But still yeah. good fun. Yeah. I I've like, wanted to bounce a lot more, but hey ho, we're on our next ride right now, and this is. Forgot the name of it again. Fata Morgana. Okay, and yeah, one of only two of these rides. Oh, I in... don't know. I mean, there's, there's not it? many of these out there. I mean, I know there's one at in the Netherlands, but very, very apart from that, I don't really know. There's another one out there. So it is a little bit nerve wracking, and I did never one of these before. It's got to get on it. You've got to give it a go because you never get off it again, really, unless you come back here or you're somewhere else. But yeah. I can't see for it's coming back down now. We decided to choose the outward seat options, didn't we? Yeah, I mean the thing is like the inward seat actually looks worse than the outside, so we thought we'd gone outside. Yeah, yeah and listen, that's more of an experience, you never know though. Like it does tilt as well when you're it's up there. Up. And it's windy as well, so <laughs> once you're up, you're not coming down. Tom's at number three. Once you're up, you're not coming down. <laughs> That was where we were a few seconds ago, and that is intense. I'll give you that. Like, I thought the dots tower was scary, but that seems to be a lot worse. Like, you get two options, but being up there, you're up for a very, very long time, like almost five, ten minutes. And when you're up there and then you're flying around, it feels like you're gonna like go out. Yeah, it's pretty intense, but it's just more slow than intense. I mean, honestly, like, I was up there, I feel like, oh. I'm getting started to get a bit tired now up here, but at the same time, you're also getting like tilted up there. Yeah, not for faint hearted, but a really good fun ride. Next, however, we are going to be going on to this because it's getting dark. We do know as well, kind of ride close early, yeah, not like close closing time. Sources that like rides close up an hour and a half before closing, and as you know, we're getting on, so we need to sort of get a move on and try and go on the coast at night. I mean, that's my aim anyway. Yeah, so we're we'll nice to get done. Try to get down at night. We've also got four coasters to do. I want to try that old one again. I like that one. one. Oh, that's good. The wooden one. That's good. Oh, yeah, that's funny. Yeah. Also, do you want a nice one? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'm going to go to Yeah, and you may also see four flat rides. I think there's a flat ride. Fine. There we go. We have to do quite a few. Like, there's some rides like yeah. that, which isn't open unfortunately today. Yeah, and like, there's a few others. It seems like the major coaster, like all, this, oh, all the coaster runs today, yeah. which is good. It seems like the major flat rides after the shop. Yeah. Like, that Aquilia and also the staff. Oh, I can't even have a lot more. Flat rides are all right, you've got the carousel, which is not that. Yeah, I mean, like, there's, I mean, from now on, really, we're just sort of thinking, yeah, should we do some rides at night? Um, and of course, we kind of crossed on like, the chair swing earlier, yeah. where it's all fun, it's just ended, we yeah. jump on, yeah, do that. Like, yeah, sure, I mean, like, it's basically like this story, this is just ended, so we're like, yeah, we might as well run it. Yeah, well, you know, literally, it's opened up, and yeah. um, we're going to head into the blossom trees. Oh, um, you like your blossom trees? <laughs> great, great plants here at Pop. Just did that, and you know what you think of it, but look at this, okay? The park at night, wow. 
is an Asda Dagenham. This is what I thought in um, by Tivoli Gardens that night. That is really, really awesome. And all the lighting packages across the roller coasters, the theming, it really is absolutely incredible, isn't it? Yeah, it it's definitely my favourite night. I can see why people like this part so much. Yeah. Like, so I don't know, I don't think I did mention it earlier, I mentioned this to you earlier. In my suggestion, what I would do is I would then head to the park from like six onwards, it's only for four hours. Well, you have to go 100 hours, not even even ticket, but maybe five, okay. Only five or six hours in, you here, really get all the big riders done. And at night, it does get a lot quieter once the cruise line is in. So maybe look on a cruise line and see when they come up and stuff. And then work on those when since they leave, you can come in because all the like band and stuff that's playing earlier stop and everything because he. They, they know the park of prime time to be here. So, it means that now it's dirt quiet and we literally can enjoy everything there is to do here. Quiet, better themed, and of course, at night. So, I think we're going to have another ride in the rodeo at the moment. I think we can get a little toilet, jump on there, but I'm going to get some cool shots because this is spectacular at night. It really is, guys. It really is spectacular. Only one hour left until the park closes, but we are still on a roll. Just completed Damien. I still don't know how to pronounce that. I never will. Demon. Yeah, but that's in English. I like to. I like to be authentic. Demon. Yeah. I like to. I like to be authentic in the what I say. Like there's some rides like yesterday. It was actually Phoenix, but I think it's Phoenix. I don't know how it works, but I try my best to pronounce as best I can, and I do apologise down low like, for that correct pronunciation. Nevertheless, that ride was great. Once again, impressive. The lighter package has been one of the best I've ever seen in the ride. Especially taking into account the whole land. It's not that expensive, don't get me wrong, it's not easy and it's an impressive job. But what I'm saying is in the park around the world, they can do stuff like this. And it just, it just makes it a difference. If it opens up to 10 o'clock tonight, you can see all the effort's gone into the lighting. I think at night, this park is 10 times better. I mean, like, that drop tower down there, I don't know get one going up. But as it goes up, the lights are red, but when they turn wise, it goes like up and down, so it kind of switches as the guy goes. And it's just a bit like of extra detail they do, which is just absolutely fantastic over here in the park. And I just want to explore the rest of it for you guys, to see what idea I thought. I don't think there's going to be any lighting on there, because <laughs> that's a dark ride. But yeah, how you find this park so far? It's almost at the end, but it's been amazing. It's nice at night, isn't it? Yeah, it's good during the day, but it's, it's, like I say, it comes to life at night, it's obviously less people, less atmosphere. This ride to walk on, it looks amazing, the lights are really good. Best low at any park, take an overall park at night, it's one of the best. Well, it's not as good as Disney, right? Yes, so, okay, yeah, but yes. Really good. As far as non Disney it's like Universal Park, yeah. it's, yeah. well, it's a good thing. Exactly, yes. Nice. Just like Walt Disney did, like 30, 40, 100 years ago. <laughs> 70 odd years ago. 70 odd years ago, yeah. Hmm? 100, so nice But yeah, like anyway, park. Adam. Yeah. How did you find your ride? Oh, honestly, the demon is amazing. And like, at night, it just brings us to the next level. Uh, we actually got a middle row this time, which was quite nice because we've been doing front, back, and middle now. So I've got a good variety on that coaster now. So I've got a good feel for what row is my favourite. My favourite is currently the front row, but then it's yeah, back to the middle. Usually of course, what I do it's the middle. It's either back or front, but never yeah, middle. But as well, I mean, like, even the middle there's great, so like, it's a good coaster. But oh, um, you know, at night it's definitely better. Like the views across the park are, are phenomenal. As well as well, the like city, like if you go yeah, on the Dot Tower, I mean, like, the views are uh, unbelievable. Yeah, especially like the Golden Tower, like oh. Yeah, and then this like sky swing as well up here. I did find them scary, so I'm like, why have we not opened today? Because I know we want them petrifying, so. I do do a rise because the way I look at it, I said to my dad earlier, the way I look at it is that with rides like that, 
if you don't do that, you're not going to do a 400 foot one in America and you've got to keep pushing yourself so eventually it's just a little bit more scary every single time you go on it not instead of like a big leap if you see one in America, it's big but I think we're going to go on the next one, are we going to go on this one? on this one? yeah, let's do more let's go and do it, let's go coast, night time coasters, yeah. different experience, trust when we say that very very different <laughs> Once again, blown away by this park at night. Just went on to that rocket ride, and that was really, really good fun. Yeah. I mean, like, it's nothing so tactical in terms of the ride layout itself. But with all the lighting package and everything like that, it really was a great ride to go on. And I know when Dan was up there as well, when you were in the station okay, before you did go off, that station was amazing. I mean, like, all the like, lights went down, you literally have to be here still. If you don't come to this park at night, you need to take a cruise and just go home early, come to Denmark, do this park at night, because it is a def different level, isn't it? Yeah, honestly, like, don't come in the day and then leave. I mean, of course, if you have, like, like you're on a cruise line or something, you're coming down there, yeah. It's all worth it, is it? Yeah, it. but I mean, like, it could uh, it could easily like, jump from like being like, yeah, number yeah. 13 in your rankers to being number 10 if yeah, you Yeah, I mean, it's so incredible at night this place and you can see why people say, yeah, go here at night. Um, yeah, it's been, so far as well, it's been pretty good because we haven't seen any ride closures so far, like in terms of people closing the rides early. Uh, yeah. Apart from the fun house, which I mean, it's understandable. Um, but yeah, um, I actually- was open, wasn't it? No. I think it was just closed, I don't know. Maybe open. But however, like what they do do is, I believe this may be the case where people get annoyed. But they actually uh, put it on their app for what time they uh, close each attraction. You have to look at each certain attraction. But the reason why I think people get cut off is because they don't actually look at that. Um, and yeah, we're sort of prepared today. So yeah, I've sort of got them all down, all the lists down. And yeah, it seems to be around, uh, I think it's 9.55. Uh, majority of the attractions, uh, no sorry, oh yeah, about 9.55, majority of the attractions shut, it's about 40 minutes time, so we're really just trying to get around all the coasters, and yeah, so uh, fingers crossed we're going to be able to get on Demona. Hey, one thing I'll as well for you guys, it's actually the second entrance of the park, and that's just down here, so if you are near one of the to check which entrance you're close to. I think there's another one to. as well, near three. Demona, I think. Maybe, yeah, there might only be three entrances to this park, well, so. well, there is two ones at hotels as well, so one's the Tivoli Hotel, and one's the Nim Hotel, and yeah, you know, no, which is that, which nice. that one? Is it actually on the side? Yeah, no, the Nim Hotel is literally there. Right behind you. Oh, there you go. There's the old hotel. I was looking for the was on the side. I keep hearing that there was one on the side. And I never actually knew what it was. So, there you go. I think there's very, very limited rooms in this one. I think it's like next to nothing rooms. So, we did look at it was very expensive. But a view of the coast is pretty cool there, which we're actually going on to next. Oh, but, so yeah, yeah. I, think it's, I think this hotel is a little bit expensive for us. No, let's, let's I go, walk on queue, can't beat that, for the third oldest big, third oldest water coaster in the world, that one. Outside of the fountain and the entire park after a final ride on that Woody oh, and oh, I know I keep forgetting the name, but it's called cool, because that's what it's called in the UK. Wish and I think, and, yeah. I think I don't know, I do yeah. not speak Danish. You better I am, trust me. And that is gonna be one of the best ones here in Denmark. Oh, Easy. I mean, honestly, yeah, I mean we were just saying how like that's probably a top one. We got back row and geez, yeah, I mean I wanna, back row this one of the best in the world as well, I think like that was just really good. It was phenomenal. Like honestly, like it's crazy how the third oldest roller coaster in the world can actually be that good. Like it's just insane. Like the third oldest is one of the best in the country. I mean, I'd say it's probably better than pretty much any UK coaster we have. So I mean, I'd say I'd have a smiler to be honest with the air top now. Yeah, so, I mean like like that yeah. the theme as well. You could it's it's just really good fun. Like 
It's not intense. Well, well it is intense. As you go back over, I mean, take that back. It is intense. It got a lot of air time, got a lot of frills, got a lot of yeah, little loops, but it's just really good fun. They definitely retract yeah. it like oh, every yeah. day. Yeah. <laughs> that is just the smoothest thing I've ever been yeah. on. Of course, and yeah, also it's also Phoenix well. yesterday, which was a bit smoother. But. Yeah, and also as well, it's something to point out is that um, it does depend on what brake man you get. Yeah. Uh, we've had a couple Obviously, of your brakes. Brakes. This one was by far the best. I'm not sure if it's warmed up. So, thank brake you, brake man. <laughs> exactly. It was quite fun to do, wasn't it? Imagine how many coasts. I don't know how many times it's going around him, and it's coaster score on that. Oh, no, I, he was going to. You, I mean, yeah, you must have got a lot of ride cards, like, Yeah, no, 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 no. all the time. But yeah, fantastic. Like the whole park at night. Oh. Yeah, great, great feeling at night. Uh, no. And now. We're off the last day, man. For the final time of the day, I'm not going to keep talking to him for time something important, but we've got how long? Uh, we've got about 25 minutes. 25 minutes. Oh, we're gonna do, I don't know, two or three wires now. We've already been so far today. Show you around a bit more. And you never know, though. Maybe something that appears out of nowhere. On this tiny occasion, you might get something random and it just goes, whoa, what's that? Or we change something else. I mean, so stay tuned. Like, stay Stay. Yeah, exactly. Oh, Trust me. You might forget to put your lap bars down. I don't know. But let's not go. Damien. Very excited. Fourth, fifth time of the day, I think it is. But hasn't disappointed yet. And then I think we'll now. After an amazing two rides back there, we have unfortunately made it to the end of our day over here at Tivoli Gardens and we have got an awful lot to this park because there has been a lot of changed opinions. I mean, like, yeah. I don't think I've ever changed opinions so much in my life out of the park. So I think we're going to start off, well, I'll start off this time. I'll, I'll finish you guys off. I think when entering into the park, my first time today, through his gates up there, I was like, it's going to be awesome. I walked in. It felt very different, and I mean, I think the shock really went over the top of me. I mean, like, I thought it was going to be very spacious, I thought it was going to have lots of like rides and everything, I thought it was going to have like lots of like plants and everything, and then I went in and it was kind of overwhelmed, like all the different countries and stuff, and I think I just kind of put over the top of me, and then the crowds of people on the cruise ships, like you saw me enter compared to now, how people were there, and it kind of just felt so like in your face, a bit like some places like Hyper Winter Wonderland does during Christmas time, and I didn't really like that, so I had a bit of a negative time this day, I was like, oh I'm not really sure about it, I don't know if I like it or not, obviously how was the crowds doing that to me, and then we went left, went out to the room, came back, and every, and I mean every second of the day from that point, my mind was blown, I loved every single aspect, the night lighting, I mean like, Wow. Apart from Disney Universal, I know it's such a great night in package out of park. But as rides light up, everything. I mean, like, you literally walk around. It's a magical place at night, and I think a trip to the whole of Billund, not Billund, the whole of Denmark in general is no way near complete without a trip to this place at night. I mean, it's like it's one of those landmarks of the it really city, is. and it's a landmark yeah, of the whole. Definitely. Place, you know, like, yeah. You look at the steps he's been here, it's unreal, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, I mean, Joe, this is a landmark that I've been wanting to for a while now. And as you said, when you come in uh, in the day, um, it's always a bit like, I mean, I, I was, I, I knew what to sort of expect because I was, of course, watched loads of videos um, and all, of course, like loads of reviews and everything like that. So I sort of knew what to expect with all with the coasters and in terms of what the park layout was genuinely going to look like. However, I mean, I never, and then like, when we left the park, I was like, you know, it's a good park, but I probably won't visit here for a while now, but leave it a bit. And uh, then? And then we came back into <laughs> night rides on the Demon and also the roller coaster. And plenty of other rides here at the park, and you know, wow, I mean, this park is a night park, uh, definitely a night park. If you're going to come down at one time, come down at night. And also, as well, great news, and I mean, well done to the park for this. They didn't actually shut the rides, I mean, they shut the Demon four minutes before the Avatar's closing time, so Sorry. well done for that. I mean, you, you can't complain four minutes closed before. Uh, especially as well how we're in Denmark. And also you've got to remember as well, it's not like some parts where they close the park at five. Exactly. It's ten o'clock right now I mean, and yeah, every single night or pretty much every single night of a whole year this park is open late. So yeah, but they don't know it's on now. I know it's like a great a great park and of course it, 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 it wouldn't be it wouldn't be Denmark without some great staff as well. No, every I single mean, staff from there. I mean everywhere in Denmark. Every, I know, no, 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 this no, is amazing. I had a good time credit to every single park for the staff, but once again, fun, interactive, great people. Like even now, like they open up all the coffee shops and everything, still provide food. I had a hot dog as we left the park. Also as well, another, and yeah, yeah another point as well is like when you were um, just about to go on, for instance, the demon I'll use. Um, when you were just about to go on the demon, 
uh, they would let everyone um, get off the train uh, and then start heading down the stairs. And then once they did that, then they opened the air gates. Yeah, not of course. You may think, oh, it was, like, it was on the dispatches and everything. But you know, dispatches are amazing. They, they send the trains out so often. Like. Yeah. And, and also, as well, what's great about that is they let people take their time to get off. Uh, of course, except from the roller coaster, which you could literally just jump. Yeah. <laughs> you got one, you want you're um, halfway through, you're like, oh, I'm there. Yeah. Now. Jump I mean, off. Yeah, on the third last roller coaster, we just jumped off whilst it was moving. Rather but, you know, an incredible ride, that wasn't oh, it? Like, it was amazing. Cool. Yeah, I mean, obviously, the two stand out Demon and Roller Coaster. And all the rides in general, I think, even the ones that we said earlier uh, are the rides unique good? ones. Dark rides, yeah. Yeah, all of them. Every single one, amazing. I think even the ones that we said weren't going to be going to do because they're so common. They're still impressed, and the views are so like calm in Mount yeah. Park. You even get the sea down at the end. Like it's not even like, you get the whole city, the sea, everything. It's yeah, also incredible. Well, another thing to point out is that um, if you're sort of worried about like language, like yeah. everything like that, they, um, they, they speak better English than we do across yeah, the whole country. I mean, like I mean, like we, we haven't met one person. There's been like eight-year-olds coming to us yesterday, and we're like yeah. talking to us, and they were they weren't from here. Yes. They put nothing into it. It's like incredible. Like, they're, as, they're almost they're as incredible as that. That is there, like, I'm but yeah, no, I mean, like, they were literally like complete Danish, um, and yeah, this bit for an English, and I mean, it was incredible because, like, in the queue lines, yeah, we just yeah. hear them behind us it's just like, talking in English, but. Yeah, I, mean, I know. Yeah, exactly. And one other thing I want to point out as well before we do end the vlog is the fact that we did look in the shop, we were going to show in the vlog, and there's nothing really. But there's a few there's posters, a lot, there's. That's the only thing you can really put on here. Like so £45. Pounds yeah. Like yeah, like you know, normally you don't post like putting like quite big ones that you find on this flip frame sort of thing. So, a bit expensive. Oh, yeah, entertainment was good as well. Entertainment as well, yeah. We didn't really watch a lot of entertainment, but we were all like along here, so we were sitting on the deck chairs and stuff, and then the door was down there as well but mainly which shows were on during the cruise time and I actually think as well during a cruise time because they don't get paid I think it's sort of like a package of a cruise it was if they like slow down the operations because we yeah. were there I mean not maybe cross like less I don't know yeah, but I mean, it was like, fast though but more trains like, as soon as true. I think we were on yeah. the cruise left it all Two sped trains, up. a lot on Demon, Dispatch, Dispatch, Dispatch. It was in like incredible uh, yeah. fast on there. Um, it really was, yeah. It yeah. definitely got a lot better. Yeah. That, it, felt, it felt like they put more entertainment on the crew people were here, but because they weren't giving the money to the ride, it felt as if they were going a lot slower. You hey know, ho, the ho. was great, Dispatch. It really was. And Dan and Mum, how, what did you think of this park? Yeah, it's been brilliant. I've really, really enjoyed it. It's been really lovely. Yeah. And at night time, it's especially pretty. Yeah, especially nice at night. And Dad, really really how did you find the park? Uh, I enjoyed it during the day, but it's just really good at night. It's lovely, it's beautiful, well lit up. Very quiet at night. If you get a chance to come at night, you just walk on. Rides, Brilliant. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, really good. It's it is. Exactly. I think it's open all year round as well, this park, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, this park is open um, in December. It's just open all year round, so it's pretty cool. So, yeah, as we oh, now. Actually, no, it's not. No, it's not. I think it's, I think it's open throughout, or uh, usually April to um, December, and then Still. it shuts from there. But I mean, it, it, it needs to shut. Everybody's going to shut. But, but hey, yo, that is it from our video over here. We started off right down here, next to here, and now we've left like 10 hours later thinking what an amazing park this is this is tivoli gardens this is the whole of copenhagen and thank you for watching guys we'll see you guys soon on our next video on our denmark road trip and it's a very exciting one see you soon